Hey everyone, this is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations and um, this is going to be our reading for this weekend for the dates of uh, Friday, March 29th, Saturday the 30th, and Sunday the 31st, which is um, Easter Sunday. And um, I put up my, my pretty uh, love sign here and have my hearts out because I know and I feel the energies, a lot of, of love and compassion, very uh, kind of uh, soft energies, but also very red, very fiery of Aries um, with this full moon in Libra. So there's a balance between these very fiery energies and the very soft, gentle feminine energy. So a very uh, beautiful balance of masculine and feminine energies at play here. And today what I decided to do, there's also, I, I'm, I'm also feeling a lot of magical influences. Um, I can't put my finger on the magic part per se, but I do feel uh, that they are new, they are, are remembered energies coming into play. Uh, ancient, magical, mystical energies that we considered long gone are coming back and um we're in the we're, we're we're processing these things so a lot of us i know are feeling um kind of disjointed a little bit and in a confusion i know i'm feeling felt the full moon energies really strongly last night and um but i also see that behind them is a lot of creative energies into play so um, thank you to all of those and to Glammy. I had so much fun doing our full moon event yesterday. It was kind of like chill and laid back, but some beautiful messages did come out um, from the Akashics for it. So I, I hope you enjoy that video if you weren't able to participate live with us. So today what I'm doing <clears throat> is I'm pulled three cards to set the tone. And I wanted the... I wanted my new angel heart sigils to come through and give us a message. I've uh, picked an Ascended Master card by Doreen Virtue and um, the uh, Angels of Atlantis but also by Stuart Pierce. So we know what angelic influences are here to help us. And then I'll be working with um, Colette Baron Reads. Let me just reach across here, sorry. Uh, Wisdom of Avalon Oracle Cards because I really... Um, I have to tell you, I haven't connected that well with them, but I really feel that now is the time they're coming into play and will be, these these cards to me denote a magical influence. So, so let's get started with our reading. The first card will be the Angel Heart Sigil. Oh, and I know that my Bella Ducati and her reading picked uh, out an enchantment card uh, with the unicorn on it and a rainbow of energies. And I know that Orb 66 also pulled out unicorns. Unicorns are magical, magical creatures. Here we're talking about that magical influence. Here is our beautiful unicorn with these uh, beautiful green turquoise energies from Zadkiel and the card below says beloved so a really lovely message that's coming through that we are um, being loved that we are cherished um, beloved to me means something that is cherished that is loved um, and also that Zadkiel uh, represents to us in this deck the divine comforter and it comes it it says that the unicorns are returning to planet earth at this time of the great spiritual shift when we're going back to source and that they're coming from their seventh dimensional home of the archangels because um he says that they are ascended masters of the horse kingdom so um orb 66 i think this is a special message for you since you create your horse uh, beautiful horse cards that you're working with and it says that they are pregnant with magic to awaken the love of the beloved by using their mag magical talismans that their horns are instrument of love designed like a wand so um, again a lot of magical energies um, if you have wands and I know I remember yesterday I was telling Debbie 
that she has to get a wand. She has to make her own. So Debbie, this is a clue to you to make your own wand. Um, that the horns um, that they're um, that they ignite the soul with the fire of loving initiation and infinite possibilities. That unicorns um, are purity and that their spiraling horns are healing of any disease or, or disharmony within the animal, vegetable, and mineral kingdoms. And as we look onto the sigil that is there, um, and Zadkiel as the divine comforter, it's providing us with comfort and love through the heart. And that um, to use the unicorn's warm embrace to really feel our connection with soul and uh, to use um, to see that it, the divine fire how it integrates into our heart chakra and that we are being caressed by love so lots of love and magical energies very much appropriate I'm going to go to the ascended master card <laughs> and it's Saint Germain with work your magic so here we have the sacred geometry of the tetrahedron and you know he works very closely well of course with the sacred geometry he's working very close with Metatron which is you know my guide into the Akashic so this, this spread is really powerful and it says to tap into our magical abilities um, that we've used successfully in past lives so these magical abilities are coming in through our past lives and that's why some of the things that feel synchronistic that you learn something new and all of a sudden you feel like you've known it for a long time or it comes easy to you that is because it's coming through a past life and you have used it before and now it's just a continuation of bringing that magic now into our space and into this time and it says to use clear and focused intentions positive expectations affirmations decrees and all of these will create healing and manifestations of everything that we desire and it says to have faith in a positive outcome to study um, alchemy and manifestation principles so all of these things that we've been doing the I am of the spiritual journey all of these things are have that magical element to it and that is what is going to take us forward and then our angel of Atlantis card ha huh? <laughs> naturally is Metatron with wisdom and here he brings us in all of this ancient knowledge of the Akashics um, through hollow earth which is found underneath the Sphinx of Egypt and I know that um, um, I believe it was uh, who was it oh Tony Tony Walker pulled a Diana Cooper card and it talked about hollow earth so um, and hollow earth is found through the entrance underneath the Sphinx which is also the entrance as to one of the um, portals for the Akashics so Wow, great. I just uh, amazing. I love the way it's coming out. So I want to go ahead and pull a couple of the Wisdom of Avalon cards to find out where and how we can apply this magic in our lives. And, you know, how are we supposed to tap into this? And what secret uh, hidden things are coming into play? Let's see. It's not one of the... Usually they... Whoop. Oh awesome card and it's telling us love the sigil of love the two interlocking rings and this is the number 45 card um, from them I'll put that there so I can um, see what Colette Bear and Reed would like us to know on this it looks like you know each each step you know there's steps here and they're leading up and each step is a new way of learning uh, about that sometimes we just have to take the first step and to shift our perception that it's it's the step up the spiral ladder to me and that it's going to uh, trigger within us um, knowledge of how to feel that union feel the flow of source to us and it says um, how we can, that we must learn to be responsible for, as a steward or uh, of love of the God or goddess, and that love is without conditions. 
um, that the very essence of the divine is in us and that also helps us see the divine in others and that right now is the time for us to see everything with the beautiful energy of love oh beautiful it's a super very transformative message again wow okay we'll see this one wow the wasp and it talks about anger retaliation and jealousy the number 21 so i have um the what it's kind of talking to me about is that we have the two polarities we go either through love or we're gonna we're gonna end up like the wasp and and the seeing things if we don't change our perceptions and really work through uh love that it, we're going to be hurt and um to so to be mindful and and see the the relationships and situations are that you're going to be coming into this weekend um remember it's easter sunday so see things through the christ um like image of i am love and that to love your neighbor as yourself and to love the source within you above all else and as two of the commandments that he told us took precedence over everything else so um he comes in this is coming in as a reminder to not waste ourselves in the lower emotions of jealousy or enviousness um to really um that we're gonna probably have some little uh, situations come up that we can protect ourselves and and really not react in a negative manner but to see it with love and compassion and I'll pull up one last card so I'm seeing obviously with the balance of Libra energies uh, talking about relationships and we get the burden card the number 43 um, actually, I think it's a beautiful card because I love these red fiery energies and it's talking to me about, you know, these these fiery Aries um, energies. And I think it's whatever burden you've been carrying, it's it's time to put it down. But it's time to let them go. It's this is the full moon. So it's time for the releasing finally of getting rid of these rocks, these burdens, this hardship that you've been um, carrying and to really um, <clears throat> also see and work through generosity and um, allowing to look at what responsibilities and commitments you've taken on for yourself that are really not yours to carry and if you're holding on to situations that are no longer serving you to let them go um, <clears throat> now is the time and it's encouraging you to release others to their own path you cannot um, live somebody else's life for them. You cannot make decisions. You cannot change their perceptions. Only they can do that. So it is not your responsibility. It is only yours for you to be in love, light, and compassion and be as an example so that others will want to follow their way. And um, that we have all of our tools, they say, integrity, kindness, compassion, discernment, faith, forgiveness, trust, and these are all the tools that we can, um, that that what is what we we should be using and leaving by behind any of our unnecessary burdens. I, I just have a feeling I gotta pull one more. Sorry, I know it's going a little long, but I just really feeling today the energy. So that's great. Um, I know I've been kind of taking it easy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> And then Merlin comes out and the message is alchemy, justice, and balance. So this is it. This is our final outcome. Love the blue energies. It's the number one card. And you see him sitting here with his dragon. And he has, what is this? This is his owl uh, behind him. He has his book where it's being illuminated and outside he has this influence here it seems like the full moon is in the background of the card and he's got his scrying bowl so he has all his elements right there at his fingertips um, to be able to create alchemy and transformation and to achieve balance so it's he's both the magician and the high priestess so here we have the balance of the male and feminine within Merlin and it says that we have everything we need within us to move forward that all the elements 
for our success are present. And that when this comes into our life, the magical aspect of Merlin can be summoned to help us find an answer that is within. And that when Merlin appears, he tells us that justice will be done in all matters and not by forceful action. So instead of, t you know, taking these burdens on yourself and, and, and reacting in a negative way, if we act through love, then Merlin will come in to assist us. And it says that the answers that we're seeking are not in obvious places. So that talks to me about the ancient wisdom of Metatron and working through our magic with Saint Germain. So do the violet flame decrees, the I am discourses. Um, it's telling us, <laughs> it's telling us to rest and to really go within to seek the answers through spirit and that he's sending us signs and omens that's going to lead us um, into our own wisdom. And it says um, his message is be in the world, but not of it and wear it only as a loose cloak about your shoulders and that we never have to look outside of ourselves for the answers when Merlin appears that everything is within us and that everything else is just reflections of that which is already within ourselves. So, <laughs> so beautiful reading. I'll go through it again. We have Zadkiel with our unicorn and magical energies. Work your magic. Work our magic through St. Germain and the Violet Flame and Metatron um, telling us to use our wisdom of past lives, our skills, um, and live in love and compassion. Uh, to let go of our burdens and to watch out for the lower emotions of anger and jealousies and that we as Merlin, as the divine balance of feminine and masculine, have everything within us to be able to move forward. It's so funny because when I pulled this uh, tapestry out, I just felt blue and red energies. And if you'll see, this is basically what we have today, our blue and red energies right here. So um, I wish you a fantastic weekend. Um, really take this time now in the full moon energies. We'll have a, you know, a couple of days after uh, to really still feel the influences of it. And um, we'll be moving forward. Um, after this release. So I send you many blessings, much love and light. Namaste.